Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Sexy Dex is in the <laughs> building. Hey guys. Dexter, Dr. Sex Heather is here. Hey. Toya is doing her civic duty and Go being Toya. a juror. That's right. Well, the baby is here. Mm. I told y'all she was very, 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 very pregnant. We're talking about the side joint. Kevin Hunter, Kelvin, mm -hmm. Wendy Williams. It has really turned into a mess because they came to good old Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with their medical what? needs. They brought the mess right to your wow. lap. They brought the mess <laughs> right here. Wow. I said, I know Hunterman Hospital. Not a good choice. That was not a good choice. Y'all should have went somewhere else because now everybody is finding out. Now, mm -hmm. before we start, mm -hmm. the baby, by the way, is a little girl. I really hope that the woman who was tricked, because she was tricked, mm -hmm. but she was doing her job by giving the number like, hello, is Nikki Hudson there? She's in room. She was doing her job. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't get in trouble. I really hope that this young woman, I just oh. felt so bad for her. I said, <gasps> "Yeah," because I'm sure Kevin went berserk. Apparently this baby, Sharina Hudson, Nikki, the baby was born last week It's a girl. I don't know where it was born, but they ran into some problems and had to, ha had to go to Holloman Hospital. Okay. Mm. The baby had marijuana in its system. Wow. How does that happen? That happens when someone is smoking or ingesting marijuana. I mean, maybe it's a medical marijuana, but you should actually wait until you give birth and yeah. Not do that. It's like while a crack. Like you can't stop doing this for nine months to deliver a healthy baby. It's like smoking cigarettes too. People don't stop, and they know there are developmental issues that That's occur. Sad. So you mean this girl was that dumb? Mm -hmm. Now she's smoking weed. Now the baby had to be hospitalized because it had weed in its system. Or doing edibles. They paid. Mm. Ca You're right. Edibles. Yep. Edibles. She could have been eating edibles. Not but then your baby's eating the edible. Like, exactly. it just doesn't make sense to me. <sighs> good good one, Dad. Not that I know anything about edibles. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to get into, into, <laughs> in, 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 into what could be your business. But they say they paid cash. Kevin used a different name. You know he likes to go under the name of Calvin Hunter. Mm -hmm. Nikki will just go under Nikki because Nikki is her middle name. Okay. Sharina Nicole, Nicola, I believe, Hudson. Uh, Kevin's name is not on the birth certificate, but mm. he is the father. <laughs> Wendy, I know it just gets more. Dun, 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 dun. Wendy has taken off a ring, but when she goes on TV, she puts it back on. Mm. I'll just show like the yeah. Um, Kevin is definitely controlling. They've gone to counseling. They've been to counseling. Counseling didn't help. No, and she trash. I mean, I, well, the baby's like, coming yeah, at this point. Like yeah. Late. I mean, I don't know if we could say counseling didn't help because some people don't stay in counseling long enough for it to help, or they're not yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. You know, and and as a therapist, I have to tell you guys, if somebody comes in my office and they're married mm -hmm. and they come in because of an infidelity, something I require is for them to stop what they're doing because you can't work on the marriage. If you're not exactly. stopping, like, <laughs> exactly. it makes no sense. The so maybe coming, he decided he wasn't going to stop. Well, at this point, I'm going to tell you why she's not going to leave. When she came back, she was very telling. I'm not going anywhere. You see this ring? Mm -hmm. And she put up the ring. I think it was a message to Shereen and Nikki. Yeah. And that's why she released the pictures, Sharina, of them doing deuces on vacation. I think Wendy is like, there's no way that you're going to have this husband. You will have this this baby. All right, you're going to have your little baby, but you're going to wind up back with your parents. Mm. But it's really bad because he has just humiliated her to the point, and then they come to Philly. <laughs> They wanted this to get out. That's why they did it. Hackerman, Hackerman Hospital, Hanum, as a Tumman, Hunnaman University Hospital, <laughs> one of the premier hospitals mm -hmm. in the country. And they came right here. You got a Dex right in our lap. All right, Kelly Line again, everybody. The officials in Dubai did not want him there for <laughs> shows to meet the prime minister or the royal family. They said he's lying. Wow. If they let R. Kelly leave this country, 
He's never coming back. Never coming back. He's mm. never, ever going to come back. Meanwhile, he's been at the mall. Searching for the new <laughs> you know what? The cops had to come to Kanye West's church. He's got this church in California, uh-huh. and they're clapping and stomping and singing. I still don't know who the minister is because you need to, because you need to get the word. You, you can stomp go, yes, and clap all day, yeah. but the word you need to have the word. Yes, well, the do. cops came. Katy Perry was there. Babyface was there. I know they they say Katy Perry left as soon as the cops showed up. <laughs> oh, well, she yes, not ride or die. Oh, uh-uh. this ain't my kind of party. <laughs> I guess she said, "I gotta do American Idol. Well, I can't. Absolutely. I can't be up here getting arrested." No one got arrested, but for the noise, they called the cops on Kanye, Stevie J, and Jocelyn. Mm-hmm. They got a baby. Has Stevie J seen this kid? Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. He hasn't seen the child in a year, but oh. his wife, singer Faith Evans, pays the child support. Oh, oh they're back tonight, too. 11 Hip Hop, um, Atlanta. Mm. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. So maybe we'll see that unfold. So maybe yeah. we'll see. This sounds bold. But she be showing him her, her butthole. Jocelyn, think- right? Yeah. So you don't want to see the child, but you want to, you call, you call her not to see the baby, but to see her, her butthole. What? That's a doozy. Yeah. Doctor Dre has learned the hard way that it doesn't pay to brag. His daughter recently got accepted into USC, and he was bragging, "My daughter, she did it the honest way. No scandals, no jail, no bribes, scamming." But what Doctor Dre failed to mention. Five years ago, he donated seventy million dollars. To the campus of U.S. You think that didn't help? <laughs> you think that's a lot? Of you money think to mm-hmm. to a you think that did not help him and Jimmy Jimmy Iveen? They made this this donation. Now, Doctor Dre, that's a lot. <laughs> that chronic. <laughs> you didn't think? Now he he took it down. Because they dragged him to hell. Yeah. Speaking wow. of dragging to hell, Daniel Caesar has apologized. Mm. Last week, he said that black people should stop being whiny. Stop being mean to white people. <laughs> he's 23. He's Canadian. He's not an American, everybody. Not making excuses for him. Right. But can he still come to the cookout? No. Ooh, Dexter said Sit right there no. in the McDonald's that you were oh, at when you uh, recorded the video. <laughs> Dexter he just said. lost his mind for a minute. He's all right. He can come. He ain't come to my cookout because we got good food. <laughs> oh, that food is banging. <laughs> Mel B of the Spice Girls. Is she making shocking revelations to sell a book, create interest in the Spice Girls tour? She has given another interview where she says that she... And Jerry Hallowell had a fling. Oh. Hmm. Jerry says, no, we didn't. Oh. You trying to sell books. <laughs> you lying spice. <laughs> you, lying. you lying spice. <laughs> yeah, but Mel, Mel B is at it. Do you think she's doing it to sell books? Because she praised Eddie no, Murphy in his book. <laughs> and they hooked up. <laughs> I mean... Knows. The other woman, she did something political, if I'm not mistaken, after the Spice Girls ended. Like the, she's the, the red hair, and I think she yeah. did something like in the political realm. So I think she's like, chill out with all that. Like, oh, <laughs> she doesn't want everybody point. to know like, about yeah. that Relax. indiscretion that yeah. happened in the '90s. Meanwhile, Rosie O'Donnell is talking again. She says during her time on The View, mm-hmm. she had a crush on Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Oh, y'all did. It was <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> she's <was> cute. <laughs> Okay, Dad. <laughs> you made me lose my train of thought. Sorry, just, I don't blame Rosie. I can see where Rosie got it from. Okay, well they, you know, they, well they didn't get along. Different political uh-huh. views, and it was one of the highlights of the history of the View. Those two going at it, but Elizabeth made a response. I had a crush on her too. Now you know Elizabeth. They had no damn crush on Rosie. She couldn't wait to get away from Rosie <laughs> O'Donnell. Those fights were epic. Apple is tired of Netflix winning. They're getting into the streaming business, everybody. And guess what? They like Amazon, you go over there. Netflix, you go over there. (laughs) They coming through the door. Mm -hmm. They have bust the door down. They already have a billion dollars worth of content. They got Oprah. 
They got Steven Spielberg. They got Brian Grazer. These are all top. Jennifer mm-hmm. Aniston, mm-hmm. M. Night Shyamalan. Mm-hmm. They, got, they got everybody. Uh, the TV app, the Apple services. They're going to do bundles with HBO and Stars. Mm-hmm. They ain't doing nothing with Netflix. They oh. are tired of Netflix winning. Now, the streaming is going to be big because you got Disney entering the streaming game, Warner Media, Comcast. So I'm going to ask you all this question. Mm-hmm. If people ditch cable, you still got to pay for all these individual streaming services. I ditch cable, and now I, and now I say I need, I need to get a part-time job in order to pay for all the streaming services. Yeah, you know? because, <laughs> because a lot of people, you know, they're do, you still got to pay. Yeah. And each of these streaming services costs money. So yeah. does it does it appear to you that they found a way around people getting rid of cable? Absolutely. Definitely. And I'm buying and you, but you don't need all of them. You just need two good ones. No, Hulu and Netflix. That's it. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but look, look, look at what Apple. Look Apple's going to pull stuff off of Hulu oh, and Apple, Netflix. Oh, they, Apple, they will. Trust oh, me. Gosh. You're going to see no Disney stuff on Netflix. You, you're not. It's mm-hmm. just Because they're starting their own. Yeah. I can't mm. even figure out what I want to watch nowadays. It's just too much good stuff. Well, the streaming business is booming, everybody. Mm-hmm. And they're not legalizing marijuana in New Jersey. Whoa. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Here's a question. You guys can help me. Since cannabis is huge, Mm -hmm. marijuana, weed, what about all the people that went to jail for selling it? Let them out. Are they going to let them out? Let them out. You know? Yeah. Are they going to let them out? You've got to let these people out and get them their stuff back. (laughs) Now, Dr. Sex Heather has a YouTube channel. Yes. Tell us about it. We can find you. S-E-X-D-R Heather. It is wonderful. I just posted a couple new videos up. I have everything from why you should get premarital therapy to squirting. What's that? (laughs) What is squirting? (laughs) Yeah, Dex, what is squirting? Well, you want to tell him? No, you tell him. No, Dex, I want to hear what you say. Uh, (laughs) Miss, I got a crush on Elizabeth Hasselbeck. From what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Let's hear this. (laughs) Squirting is the act of, not, it's not necessarily ejaculation, but it's like a fluid that um, exits a woman's exits a woman's vagina during sex or masturbation. Is that a dot? It's an excess amount of fluid when her G-spot is stimulated. And the G-spot is not an actual spot. It's an area. So, yes. And it could be a lot. I'm about to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to stick to doing this. It can be a lot. It can be um, really, really um, pleasurable. Um, and if so, just be careful because it soaks everything. And just put a towel down or make sure you, you're in an area where you can have extra juices. If you like the channel, subscribe. <laughs> I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, Dr. Sex Heather, Sexy Dex. <laughs> Leave a comment. Nice comments. I know they be trying to be a bully to Dr. Mm-hmm. Nay. You can't be, be mean. Nice guys. Be nice. Because y'all know me. I done told a couple of them. Look yes. now, shit. Yes. Now. <laughs> I'm going to go back into Coretta Scott Patty. We appreciate you checking us out. And we hope that we're that little bright spot in yeah. your day. Subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. As we love to say, it's not cute. Not Not knowing. knowing. Thank you for joining (laughs) us.